the past perfect, or the pluperfect, or the plus cum perfecto, those are all the same names for the same tense, is a verb tense. All right, well, what do we need to know with any verb tense? Well, it's how do we form it. So to form the past perfect, we're going to take a form of haber, which is the auxiliary verb to have, and we will put that into the imperfect tense. And then to that, we will add a past participle. Now, I'm not going to go over how to form past participles because there's another video on that, but I will give you a few examples. All right, so to form this, first let's take haber, and we have That's an H right there. My writing's not so good. So we have haber, and then we'll have some participles. And if we have an AR verb, like hablar, we would take off our AR and add ADO, or an ER verb, take off our ER and add IDO. And then we also have some irregular verbs, irregular participles. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put a few of these together and see what it looks like. So maybe we want to start out and we could say, había hablado. But if you'll notice, había is the same form in both the yo and the la usted. So we might want to put in our subject pronoun to, to clarify what we're talking about. And we would translate this one as I had spoken. So this is the, the, the auxiliary verb haber, and then this is our participle. All right, well, maybe we want to say they. Um, so they had, and then maybe we'll say broken the computer. So they had is the auxiliary verb haber. And then broken is our past participle. <laughs> I just wrote that in Spanish. Sorry, guys. They had broken the computer. All right, so that's how we form it. We're going to take a form of haber in the imperfect tense and add a past participle. But I think the question is, well, when do we use the plus cum perfecto? Well, in the plus cum perfecto is used to indicate an action, all right, so we're going to indicate an action that preceded or came before another action. And all of this is happening in the past. Okay, well, let's put this together with our examples from down here and see what it would look like. So we could say something like, I had spoken with the president, I don't know, when the dictator entered. So one action in the past and another action in the past. Why the president? I don't know. I mean, you need to make up whatever you're going to use. Okay, so let's look at another one. So they had broken. They had broken the computer. I don't want to write it all out. Before my parents returned. Uh-oh. Right, so we had one action that happened, and it preceded another action in the past. Okay, the past perfect. It's one of our perfect tenses, so you're going to take a form of a bear. You're going to take a past participle, and if you don't remember them, you know, check out one of the videos. You can call that the pluperfect or the plus cum perfecto, or whatever floats your boat. And you know, when are you going to know how to use it? Well, I can give you the definition, but really, I want you to go out and practice. Talk to some people. Ask them. Let them know. Try it. Swear thing.